You recognize that music. It's time for another episode of Comedy Pub Quiz. Hi, I'm Johnny Mac with some weekend filler. What you're going to do is you're going to answer my questions. You're going to drive your car around and talk to yourself like a crazy person. Or maybe you're on the subway and people are going to be like, who's that lunatic answering trivia questions in their headset? Are you ready? Question number one. I'll start you off easy. This angry, chain-smoking comedian became well-known for his act, No Cure for Cancer. Angry, chain-smoking comedian. No Cure for Cancer. Is it Dennis Leary, Andrew Dice Clay, or Bill Hicks? Chain-smoking comedian, No Cure for Cancer. Dennis Leary, Andrew Dice Clay, or Bill Hicks? Question number two. Also for five points. You should get this one. This comedian performed stand-up comedy for the Pope when Pope Francis visited Philadelphia in 2015. This comedian performed at the Festival of Families attended by the Pope. What comedian performed for the Pope? No multiple choice this time. Let's see if you pay any attention to me when I talk about my own resume. You know I love the guys from the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. They are Jeff Foxworthy. Larry the Cable Guy, Ron White, and for 10 points, the other guy. Who's the other guy? Foxworthy, Cable Guy, Ron White. Who's that other guy? Johnny Mac mentions him all the time. What's his name? Shoot, 10 points. On How I Met Your Mother, one of the characters was from Canada. No, it's not Ted. It's not Barney. It's the woman they hang out with. What is her name? I want her first and last name. First name's easy. Last name you're not going to get. If you get it, I'll give you 25 points. What is the name of the Canadian character on How I Met Your Mother? This one's hard too, but it's multiple choice. So I'll only give you 10 points. What female comedian's biography is titled The Bedwetter? Is it Sarah Silverman, Amy Schumer, or Chelsea Handler? Her biography is called The Bedwetter. Sarah Silverman, Amy Schumer, or Chelsea Handler? You've seen every episode of The Office, but have you seen every episode of The Office UK for 15 points? What is the name of the paper company David Brent works for? I'm not looking for Dunder Mifflin here. Where does David Brent work on The Office UK? Five points for the question, five points for each answer. How many Marx Brothers are there? And can you name them? How many Marx Brothers? And can you name them? A lot of points available here. This deceased stand-up comedian was the first person in history to receive a posthumous pardon from the state of New York. Who got a posthumous pardon from the state of New York for 10 points? Was it Rodney Dangerfield, Henny Youngman, Shecky Green, or Lenny Bruce? Who got a posthumous pardon from the state of New York? Rodney Dangerfield, Henny Youngman, Shecky Green, or Lenny Bruce? Depending on your age, this is either really easy or really hard. Question number nine. In 1982, on Saturday Night Live, Eddie Murphy played Stevie Wonder in a sketch where he sang Ebony and Ivory with Joe Piscopo playing another character. So it's 1982, Saturday Night Live, Eddie Murphy is Stevie Wonder, and Joe Piscopo plays this other character for 10 points. Who is the character Joe Piscopo played in 1982's Ebony and Ivory sketch? And finally, number 10. What legendary stand-up comedian was known as the Queen of Comedy? Is it Joan Rivers, whose house I used to go to sometimes? Lucille Ball, been talking about Lucy a lot. Being the Ricardos, you know I love it. Or is it Carol Burnett? What legendary stand-up comedian was known as the Queen of Comedy? Joan Rivers, Lucille Ball, or Carol Burnett? How did you do? The answer's coming up after the break. So how did you do? Let's take a look. The first question was, this angry chain-smoking comedian became well-known for his act, No Cure for Cancer. Was it Dice Clay? It was not. Was it Bill Hicks? Good guess, because a lot of people think the answer, Dennis Leary, ripped off a lot of his act from Bill Hicks. But it was Dennis Leary who called his act No Cure for Cancer, despite how much he may have borrowed from Bill Hicks. Second, this comedian who performed for the Pope was... Jim Gaffigan, right before he performed, Jim Gaffigan joked that he was waiting for an organizer to apologize to him and explain that they got him mixed up with Stephen Colbert. The four guys from the Blue Collar Comedy Tour, Jeff Foxworthy, Larry the Cable Guy, Ron White, and did you get... 
Bill Engvall. Bill Engvall was the fourth member of the Blue Collar Comedy Tour, who was the Canadian character from How I Met Your Mother. The Canadian character from How I Met Your Mother, Robin. You got Robin. Robin Sherbatsky. Yeah, that was tough. I wouldn't have gotten that myself. Number five, what female comedian's biography is titled The Bedwetter? Chelsea Handler, good guess. Amy Schumer, eh, but the answer is Sarah Silverman. The Bedwetter is about her upbringing, family, an offensive sense of humor, and pee. Are you a fan of The Office? Have you watched The British Office? You should watch The British Office because then you would know the answer. David Brent works for Wernham Hogg. Wernham Hogg. Hogg with two G's. Question number seven. How many Marx Brothers are there? Are there four? No, there are five. Chico, Harpo, Groucho, Gummo, and Zeppo. If you want to get technical, there was a brother that died as an infant. But for purposes of trivia, there are five Marx Brothers. Chico, Harpo, Groucho, Gummo, and Zeppo. You may have racked up 30 points on that. And in the words of Drew Carey, the points don't matter. Have you noticed that yet? Question number eight. This deceased stand-up comedian was the first person in history to receive a posthumous pardon from the state of New York. It was Lenny Bruce. Showing your age here in 1982 on Saturday Night Live. Eddie Murphy was Stevie Wonder. Joe Piscopo played Frank Sinatra. A classic sketch if you're of a certain age, and I am of a certain age. And finally, what legendary stand-up comedian was known as the queen of comedy? Was a Carol Burnett is a good guess? Lucille Ball? Really good, timely guess, but no, it was Joan Rivers. She had earned the nickname the Queen of Comedy. If you want to fight over that, go nuts. It's just a weekend filler, and it's Comedy Pub Quiz. Let me know if you like Comedy Pub Quiz. We can do it again more often. How do you let me know? Well, go on Instagram at Daily Comedy News, or go to the Facebook group page, Daily Comedy News Group, and let me know if you like Comedy Pub Quiz. Normal episode tomorrow. Follow the podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your shows, and see you then.